So we are here today um, with some of our volunteers from New Brighton, Minnesota, United Church of Christ, and with some of our board members um, at a new build here in Gaston Point neighborhood. The new build here is a two bedroom, one bath, and it will provide um, probably a single mom and some kids, or um, an aging individual, or anybody basically that's low income that really needs housing in the Gaston Point area, and we'll work with them to get them housed. So we brought a few of our board members over here today to kind of check it out. Do any of you have any comments about what we're doing here? It looks great. I'm excited about it. This is really nice. Somebody's going to love this home. That's Jennifer. And, and it's very good to be on, able to do on-site visits to places that we're supporting through the board and talking about on the board. And helps me understand. I'm a visual person. Helps me know what our real purpose is all about. And because uh, by the grace of God, this could be me. I right. always say that. Yeah. Oh yeah. And this is Joyce, she's from the St. Louis area. And Lauren is local. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> we wouldn't be able to do this without our volunteers and we're just super grateful to have these lovely people here from Minnesota making magic happen, creating a beautiful home for someone to live in that's safe and warm and secure and um, it's good stuff. Yeah, and we use local plumbers, electricians and much of the other work is really done by volunteers that come down from all sorts of places across the country to do this work so that we can sell this home to somebody who's low income or living in poverty. So that's really the goal. And the goal isn't to gentrify the neighborhood. The goal is really to enhance the neighborhood and give people good homes, a good living situation um, for them so they can be independent and sustainable. So we try to do the very best work we can so that all the, all the work is quality, so in the next 5, 10, 15 years, they're not going to have to do repairs. That's pretty much taken care of. And also, when you're safe and secure in a home, um, you're able to focus on other important things, like securing gainful employment, making sure your children are safe and secure. There's just a lot of other things that go along with that that help propel that person in more of a positive direction. Yep, exactly. So, any other any other statements from any of you volunteers? Do you want to say something, Todd? Todd is our construction <laughs> like manager. Todd said, uh, I, like no. I know. I think he's yeah. directing this work. Can you say some of what the volunteers did on this house for us? Uh, they've come in and got the inside ready for inspection. We was able to get it passed this week, yep. so that's we we're starting the siding right. now. They give us the okay to go forward with it till we get uh, ready for a final. Uh, great group of people we've been working with this past two weeks. And you said they hung the windows and... Hung the windows, hung the doors, did the porch on the back, blocked out for the soffits, uh, hurricane clips, straps, dead wood inside. Uh, they've, they've done a tremendous job here this week. Thank you, Todd. Todd works with our housing rehab program and one of our newest staff persons here. Actually, a local from D'Aberville, so he was an excellent hire and is here because he kind of wants to make a difference in the world and in his community. So thank you for joining us on location here. Uh, we're grateful. Continue to support Back Bay Mission and the great stuff that we do. By the way, I should say we have three other properties here that at some point we're also going to be doing um, affordable housing. And the home next door actually belongs to us and that's a rent to own, rent to own. And we had volunteers uh, six, eight months ago um, that re-roofed the house and actually painted the house. So we're just grateful for all of our volunteers, our board members, and for staff like Todd um, who does all this amazing work.